If you think your team are doing great, please don't get complacent. Let me share with you three reasons why you should always be hiring. But before we do that, I'm Tristan Bond, CEO of Practice Acceleration, and what we do is help great healthcare professionals to create thriving businesses with an emphasis on building a business that doesn't depend on them. In the 10 plus years I've been helping practice owners to build highly profitable and scalable clinics, the number one topic I continue to get questions about is recruitment and team development. People wanna know when is the right time to advertise for another team member? They wanna know when is their team actually at capacity and how to take them to that next level. Now, here's the thing, the real secret to developing an A player team is to never stop hiring. Even when you think you're at capacity in your practice, or even when your team are performing great and you feel super comfortable, let me share with you three reasons why you should always be actively looking to encourage new talent to join your team. Reason number one is this, momentum. It's a fact of doing business that team members will come, they will go, but just say somebody leaves and you are ready to hire someone new, that doesn't necessarily mean that the right person for your business is going to be there waiting for you. Hiring people who are the wrong fit for your business and doing that out of desperation or reactivity is never a good thing because you usually end up paying them way too much, they end up not seeing you as a leader because they know that they've got the power in this relationship due to your reactivity. The next reason you should always be hiring is to lift the standard. When you hire a new A player, the rest of your team, they will lift their own performance as well. And besides, no matter how great your team is, there's always more people out there who might lift that standard. It is crazy not to be out there looking for them and hire them before your competition do. The third reason you should always be hiring is backups. Think of a big sports team. They don't just have their players on the field, they've got a bunch of people waiting on the bench. That way, when a team member gets injured or they can't play or they leave the team, there's always someone ready who can step up and perform that role. If you don't have backups in the wings for key positions, when key members leave, your business is going to be very stop and start, not to mention incredibly stressful for you. Just take a moment and think about how long your recruitment, your hiring, and your new staff member onboarding process is. It is long. You cannot afford to have this gaping hole in your business while you're going through this process once a team member leaves. Your team culture drops. It puts extra pressure on your team and you have to pick up the slack. It costs you money, it costs you energy. None of those things are fun or profitable and that's why I am and likely why you are in business, fun and profit. So always have an active recruitment strategy and develop a waiting list of people who want to work with you and are a great fit for your practice. What we do in our business and what our practice machine coaching members also do is to spend a small amount of time on recruitment each month using our LinkedIn recruitment strategy. That way, we've always got a pipeline full of hot candidates whenever we need them. Hey, I know there's just a ton that we've covered inside this episode, thank you for watching. If you would like to learn more about growing a highly profitable, scalable and sustainable practice, one that doesn't depend on you, you should grab a copy of my latest book, The Practice Acceleration Method. This book is filled with actionable insights and do this, then do that type of instructions for systemizing your business, training A players, attracting new patients on demand, and just so much more. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop a link for you here below, that way you can get access to it right away. Just go through this book, follow it step by step, and you will see the growth in your practice for yourself. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the other side.